my name is Ali G and you're watching mom no period hi now if this is your second third fourth or umpteen time and with us you should definitely hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell as well so you can be notified every single time we post also if this is your first time welcome if at the end of this video you realize that you're interested and you love what we've brought to you today then go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well like comment tell us what you liked about the show what you didn't like and what you'd like to see in the future so i'm going to talk to you about my detox experience now i would recommend detoxing for moms because we need to get rid of those harmful toxins in our body that that we've been holding on to. You don't have to stick to a physical detox, you could have, you can also do a mental detox, which I ended up doing both. Um, we had to take care of ourselves as moms. We have little ones and a whole family to take care of. And whatever we do to ourselves in turn affects our family. And so if we don't take care of ourselves and you know try to stay healthy mentally and physically, it is gonna affect our families some way somehow and we don't want to do that because it's not going to have a positive effect we don't want that um so i do recommend detoxing um two things that i recommend before detoxing is find something is do your research be realistic and do your research um do your research there's tons and tons and tons of different detox um, plans out there you can go on Pinterest and five, find over 500 maybe over a thousand you can go on Google and find even more you can find them anywhere but is it something that is beneficial to you sometimes we feel as though detoxes means that you uh, doing a detox means that you have to be uncomfortable and not okay within yourself not with, okay within your body and that's not necessarily true um, you can do a detox uh, by ingesting fruits and vegetables that you enjoy you don't have to be completely uncomfortable so keep that in mind and also the second thing is to make sure that you consult with a doctor because some of these detoxes are just out there uh, so that other people can make money off of it you know once you click on it especially if it seems free once you click on it they get some type of money but they themselves haven't actually done proper research and so you end up doing something that's in turn harmful to your body and sometimes you know people have done the research but people's bodies are different so definitely consult with um, a health care professional to make sure this is something um, whatever plan that you've chosen um, is something that is actually going to be beneficial to your body all right so the first I've been trying to detox for the past three weeks the first two weeks I did a mental detox the reason why it's extended to two weeks is because the first week um, I didn't adjust myself completely and let me get into that I wanted to tune myself up from something that distracted me and the thing that distracted me the most was social media and so I did what I did was to cut myself off from social media, but I didn't do a total cut off. I still did my videos for YouTube as well as I still connected through um, with other people through Facebook because I wanted to have at least one social media outlet where I could express myself as well as um, advertise my videos. And it was effective to a, effective to a point, but because I didn't cut myself completely off, the things that affected me, the things that were a distraction were still there. So the following week, I decided to cut off um, all my social media. I didn't do any videos. I logged out of Facebook. I logged out of Instagram, my Snapchat, everything that I had that was linked to um, any type of social media account. And um, I used this time to connect with God. I prayed more, I worshiped more, and I also used this time to connect with myself, to get to know myself a little more, and a little more, like to get to my, know myself. Um, and yeah, I, one week wasn't um, like an, a full life changer for me because I've been on this earth for 25 years and if I still don't know myself fully, how am I gonna know myself fully within one week? But I did become more in tune with myself and um, I realized my purpose and I became more in tune with who I am and I, I enjoyed that and my, my relationship with God um, became better. I realized the progress. Now, those were my reasonings for doing my detox. 
calm you can do your detox for another reason you don't have to stick to mine I'm not saying that you have to be spiritual or um, you have to do it to get in tune with yourself do it for your reasons do you um, but it was great I enjoyed it and I realized that after that whole full week um, one yes my relationship was uh, better with God as I said before and um, two when I did log into my social media, it didn't affect me negatively as it did prior to this. And I'm going to get into that in another video of, of how social media affected me and why I really needed to stay away from that uh, to detox. Um, yeah, I did say it was a distraction, but there's so much more to it. But I realized that it didn't affect me as much as it did before. And I also wasn't checking into my social media accounts as often as I was doing prior to the detox. So that was absolutely great. Um, then the following week, I did my two-day detox. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what it consisted of, but I'm not going to give you the name because I'll tell you towards the end of the video. Why not? But we're supposed to be, oh, I say we because my husband did it as well. And we were supposed to ingest fruits and vegetables um, in juice form uh, to do the detox. Your body's supposed to go on a vacation. And so um, putting it in juice form took off the pressure of your body of having to digest it. And especially, and of course, the fruits and the vegetables were purposeful for your body, giving it nutrients, so on and so forth. Uh, if you were still hungry, of course, you could have water in between and you could have certain fruits and vegetables to eat, but not too much. <laughs> so my husband went ahead and we actually went together to Target and we bought some beautiful bottles. I'm actually going to do a video on those. These bottles are so beautiful, durable, and super affordable. Look out for that video soon. So we bought the bottles and my husband juiced all, did the juices, did all of the recipes, did the juices. We're supposed to have three juices per day, one for breakfast, one for lunch, and one for dinner. And so we did that. And the next day, I was so excited to start. So the first juice I started to get through, and I thought it was going to be awesome to get through. Um, I tasted it, and I was like, yes, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be healthy. I'm going to do this cleanse. Yes, positive. Um, two hours later, <laughs> I was probably one quarter way done with my juice, and I realized that it started getting harder because the more I drank, even though I shook it up, the more I drank, the more pulp and fibers from the fruit and the vegetables I was beginning to taste and it became harder and harder for me to drink by the time I was halfway through I was like uh-uh I'm not doing this anymore so I went to the um the office kitchen and I strained it it took me a while because I had to use coffee filters because we didn't have no strainer and then um yeah it took me a long time to do it but after I did that I was able to get through the juice so um even though the happiness turned into anxiety went back to happiness I'm like yeah by lunchtime, I'll be able to do the second juice. So the second juice had a whole bunch of things I don't usually eat, but I'm like, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stay positive, and I'm gonna go ahead and strain it, and everything will be okay. So I went ahead and I strained it, <laughs> and then I took one sip, and I was like, uh-uh, I'm not doing this. I was like, you know what? <laughs> 10 minutes later, I'm like, you know what? Okay, let me try again. I'm gonna push through, I'm gonna push through. I had three sips, and I was like, I'd rather starve than finish this drink. Now, between this, my supportive husband kept texting and calling me to check on me to see if I was okay because I'm a foodie and he knew what he, I mean he was going through it himself but he is stronger than I am when it comes to these things so he kept checking on me thank you baby for doing that and let's just say by the end of lunch I still hadn't finished my drink so on my way home I was like baby I'm not gonna do this I don't want to do this anymore this is horrible this is horrible and I did it I didn't continue with that specific plan but I did want to continue as some sort of detox so I was like you know what I haven't had any processed food or anything with added sugar in it so I'm gonna continue with that for the rest of the day into the next day um, I so for dinner I did add salmon a piece of salmon in into my meal I had um, baked potatoes and I had a salad we didn't use any uh, oil we didn't add any sugars everything was as is I did not do anything to it we just used the oil that came naturally off the fish to continue like pouring over the fish to make sure that it stayed moist and that was it well my husband did because he cooked for me 
um, and I felt so much better. So the emotions went from happy to anxious to happy to angry to hangry and it was I was a mess but by the end of the day I was good now the following day I decided to do a detox water which I made with water ginger pineapple and mango and that was delicious and these are things that I love and that's what I was saying before find something that agrees with you you're not gonna be 100% comfortable because it's a difference um, you don't do a detox every day, but something that you know that you can manage, you can handle. Um, if you're a trooper and you can just go ahead and do uh, something that you're not really comfortable with, but you're just going to push through anyway, and you're strong enough to do that, and my husband, all right, then you go, boo, do you. But if you can't and you're like me, then find something that, that you can manage that has um, elements that you enjoy, um, that you agree with. So yeah, so I did that and then for, for lunch I had two bananas and two pears, which I love as well. And in the evening for dinner, I had um, two potatoes, baked, um, and salad. And my husband used, yeah, the lemon is some type of dressing. He added black peppers and that was it. And it was delicious. It was divine. Um, and that whole day I was good. I was happy. I was so, so happy. Of course, I drank my water throughout the day, kept drinking. and. Um, I realized that the detox was working because I went to the bathroom a lot, but I didn't have any nausea My head wasn't hurting my belly wasn't hurting which I had experienced the day before um, And I was I was so happy about it Maybe if I had continued the first or the original detox I probably would have had more of a result but or if I started the second one that I did and did it a little longer maybe I would have more of a result, but I'm still happy with the results. Uh, the next day I woke up, I felt cleaner, I felt lighter, I felt healthier. And it, it, I'm pretty sure it was not a mental thing because even my stomach, the bloat was to a minimum. I felt good within myself. Um, so I'm going to tell you what my results are. Before I did my detox, I was... The end of the detox, I became... It doesn't seem like a lot, but it meant a lot to me because I know that it actually worked for me. For my husband, who um, stayed true to the first original cleanse, he lost a total of five pounds, which I was very proud of. Um, good job, babe. Uh, it was, it worked well. <laughs> so that was my experience, y'all. I do recommend um, anyone, not just moms, to try to detox at least once a year or if you could do a small detox then once every quarter or maybe once a month to get rid of our, most of the toxins that are harmful to your body let go of the bad stuff guys it's time for us to start letting go of the bad things that we hold on to that are not good for us let go of all the 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 harmful things and negative things in our lives and to embrace the positive if you haven't already yet hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell as well have you ever done a detox let me know how that went comment in the comment section below let's chop it up let's let, let's talk because we're a family here right <laughs> thanks for supporting thanks for tuning in with us my name is ali g and you were watching mom no period bye bye